Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Humankind where in the previous episode we were once again expanding and actually having a fair amount of conflicts which we still continue to do so with lots of little border skirmishes and some raids over here as you can see and well that's probably going to continue with this episode. We're currently on turn 100 so it's a third of the way through the game. We're playing as the English with uh, actually top dollar fame. We are on 2061 fame. The next highest is just below us on 2043 however we don't know where they are because the majority of the map we have still well yet to explore so we don't know really what's going on there our two main neighbors are the Celts up here which are quite close to us as well on fame 1316 so actually not that high but this still could be a bit of a problem and then also the Persians which we are well currently breaking everything that they currently hold so that's a uh, that's a thing so yeah we are wanting to in this episode at least build another city i did say do you want to build another city or attach it to babylon and people said yeah another city is probably the way to go so that's what we will do i'm going to um gather this up here and then bring my forces up because i have a feeling this is where the majority of the combat is going to be we don't have any we don't have enough fame to make another city it costs over a thousand and even if i did i would go over the city cap so that could then reduce certain things so instead i'm going to take a bit of a side move and go to unclaim wonders and i'm going to claim a wonder and then hopefully build it because we do have the ability to make another city well we could do that now but it would give us some negatives however if we go for theology which is 10 turns to be fair it gives us an additional city cap so hopefully enough to build one of these wonders what sort of wonders well i would really like the hanging gardens of babylon but that's being claimed and built we have stonehenge we have the colossus of Rhodes, we have notre dame etc i'm going to go however with uh, anchor watt because it gives food per faith extra faith stability and fame and that's 450 to claim it so i'll get that claimed and then well yeah we'll just end turns so hopefully get to a fairly decent weight with this episode but as always we will have to see and uh, I don't promise in actually surviving uh, you never know what what can happen here so I'm just gonna bring my stuff further up the top here I'm a bit concerned about these guys because these are immortals and they're anti-cavalry and what have I got here I have a swordsman and some chariots so yeah I really need some forces up here let me go ahead and sort that out then I'm gonna build a barracks to reduce the amount of money it costs to or I think it's reduce the industry yeah. reduce industry on unit cost I'm actually gonna buy that out for 800 straight away and then I'm gonna go for probably some arches or do I want some yeah I'm gonna go for two arches there and I'm going to well, buy them both ship, out you can protect your interests far from home and maybe redefine what those interests are Hmm. Uh, it said about first ship. We haven't got that. These I will just say uh, sit there for now. This city I will tell it to build. What can we build? Extra science on research quarters. We could do any of these, but I'm very tempted to go with this stronghold because we do need to increase our. We do need to increase our um our stability there so i'm going to build that one we have pox on the wind oh okay so today the empire spans many citizens and enjoys a period of peace however while citizens worry less about the horrors of war others fear or others uh other fears prey on their minds the citizens are afraid the city squares rife with uh, hearsay rumors across the land speak of a terrible uh malady to laying the entire communities to waste the sufferers bloodied and bedridden oh okay what will you do heed and lock down or we ignore them chance of bad consequences we are going into a quite topical lockdown Other there we empires go. Are nervously wondering what is being your empire becomes one of the giants astride the globe and what will you do with this power hmm have not yet decided however i can see that these guys are coming along if i attack those it says i should be able to win however i fear for my cavalry so what i'm going to do instead is get these guys like meeting up and then i'm going to go in i have a feeling they'll try and raid that but that shouldn't be a massive problem uh grievances yeah you can see there's a lot of grievances going on there i uh, will just leave that for now idle cities we've got this one here babylon i think it would be time to i think it's time to try and build anchor what you have to build this in, oh, I think you can build it pretty much anywhere. We're going to put it... We're going to put it... Hmm. Where's the best place for it? Just in that corner would be fine. And it's going to take quite a number of turns. However, we should hopefully be able to get cities to help out. So, um... 
Sapa is not doing anything. If we put that on it, it takes it from 29 turns to 14. And then this other city will take it down to 13. So I'm actually not going to do anything with this city. I'm going to let it crack on and do its own stuff. Because as you can see, it's very short of industry. So if we get that... Um going hopefully that'll help out looks like we have finished our research i'm gonna go for theology to get that get that additional city cap and you can see it's recommending war summons for the longbowmen because well quite frankly they are absolutely brilliant <laughs> they are a brilliant 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 unit so let's just see if i can deal with these guys and they are there however i need to go to war in order to attack them so i'm just going to basically sit around and hopefully go them into attacking me that is my that is my uh, my aim there. Let's build in this area, and it actually recommends that we place that there where we found it. Well, we'll find found it there, and why not? And this is going to become our new city. Oh, we have uh, these guys over here. Let's just start putting some money into them, and they are aggressive, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. I'm most likely going to have to destroy these. I'm hoping that they don't have any don't have anything that's. Uh, Problematic. There's pressing matters. We have press freedom as a concept over here. They are not doing anything, so they're just sort of hanging around. That's fine with me. I'll just continue to build, I guess. So how are we doing over here? Mm, we could go there first. We might as well get this one here. And oh, there's some units, and they are having a wander around. That are they gonna? Yep, yeah, they are actually raiding that. So we need to deal with that, and we need to deal with that pronto. So yeah, we knew that the aggression down here will, well, was a potential thing, and I guess we'll have to sort that out. Up here, this thing is ready to be attached, and I will attach it. It's only going to cost 22, however... Oh, there's no, nothing else to build there. So I'll attach that, so they shouldn't be able to attack that now that it is... Um, uh, like an outpost so that's all right we're gonna get auto move on the go and 10 turns for that one which is fine those guys are attacking we'll hopefully sort that out next turn i'm just gonna run up the top here and see if we can catch these guys uh it doesn't look like we can they are yeah they are very much running away <laughs> fair enough uh i thought that was something that they would end up doing but we'll just sort of take the high ground there the problem with being up here is that they may be able to get reinforcements so we'll have to see about that one uh this city is currently doing nothing i will most likely go for food farmers again we've got loads of districts we just really need to get these bonuses in fact i'm going to buy the granary out we'll also go for stoneworks because it's uh money on mountain and sorry it's industry on mountain we've got mountains around here and are these classes mountain no it's just classed as prairie prairie however over here we have got a mountain there which we are exploiting and that's also classed as oh it's just a rocky river okay so it's not going to give us a huge amount um we could instead go for forge no we'll go with stoneworks because it seems to seems to be all right how we're doing down the bottom they are oh they are absolutely legging it away okay well i'll end the turn and i do want to engage these guys as a matter of course and there we go so we could do an instant resolution but i think we're going to manually try this one we'll do a manual battle and i'll put these guys behind there and then we'll end the deployment and yeah we should be able to we should be able to fire so i'm going to go these guys are oh, straight through oh that's a problem i was gonna what i was going to do is um i was going to maybe stand there but obviously that's not going to happen now let's just get these in and we should be able to hopefully deal with at least one of these units so slightly fight fighting uphill which is a bit of a negative but this should be a destruction there yes yeah, so we've got one of their units of archers down so that is fine these are our emblematic units which are very very good indeed um there's their archers firing back they're no longbowmen but well these are no longbowmen either so we'll have to get those eventually let's go ahead and just yeet some arrows over here uh, we're getting negatives because there's no line of sight if we were to move there are we going to get line of sight we are going to get line of sight so no no it says no line of sight still it does still say no line of sight but we got we got uh, positives from friendly units and stuff so that's all right and then I will just continually attack here. And I'm most likely going to... Oh, I was going to say I was going to attack there. Uh, I'm actually going to take over this here. And then I'm going to attack those guys. So, yeah, we are fighting uphill, but it doesn't really matter. We have now captured their... Um, 
the outpost thing so basically we win the fight automatically let's just go ahead and oh yeah that's that that'll be an instant kill if we did that but we'll just fire some arrows in and see if we can see if we can get them destroyed it says we don't have line of sight let's move forward and do we get a bonus we get a little bit of a bonus and fire away there it is and then these guys are going to pretty much deal with it there we go all right so we're winning fights and we're stopping our stuff getting raided, which is, yeah, the main problem around here. And there we go. So overall, pretty happy with that. 33% health losses, but we have destroyed all of their things. Um, can we go there to pick that up? We can. Okay. We'll take a little bit of time, but we'll get there in the end. Uh, oh, looks like we've got units to... Uh, uh, curiosity to pick up. Extra... 70 influence and 60 science. That is good. Looks like these guys are actually deforesting. See that? They are deforesting. Something that I've not actually done in this series. It's something we just uh, haven't touched on. There's land rights. Uh, we haven't really touched on any of this stuff here. Allows you to say, like, we have communal land or inherited land. Allows to claim, attach, and merge territories with money instead of influence. That's pretty good. And this is plus 10 food per number of attached territories on all cities. Yeah, there's loads of good stuff here. There's press freedom, prevents empire revolution. Uh, uh, revolution. Land rights, we've mentioned. Uh, founding myths. We've got natural right or divine mandate. Uh, faith on territory or influence on main plaza. I'm going to go with Why that one, an influence on main plaza. Let's keep it simple. We've been here. It's our place. <laughs> Over here, we will go for Mercury. We can easily pick that up, which increases stability and science on all cities. As for these, they're going to auto-move. We've got an idle army. I can attack those, but why would I do that? I would lose lose stuff, so I really, really, really don't want that. We have our other units coming up, which I'm going to actually redirect over to the left now that this seems to be sort of dying down a bit because we've dealt with all of that. And just continue going through the turns. Six more turns until Anchor Wat. Uh, the Celts uh, reached the medieval era with the Ghanians. Okay, fair enough. So we've got yeah, there they are. We've got different Greetings, people Sovereign. to talk to. They are... Oh, it shows you there what they are. Oh, yeah, of course. That's their expansionist. The Persians. Right, okay. Just ought to move some stuff. Just getting curiosities and things. Which is weird. What's that curiosity of what? Oh, being plundered. Right, yeah, this is more of an issue than I thought. That's that's five... That's a five unit. Five units of archers. Wow. I can't deal with that. That's... Yeah, that's just going to happen, really, to be honest. I can't really do anything about that. I'm going to have to bring these guys back over um, and see what I can do. These, I'd very much like to upgrade that, but I need some more resources. Am I going to have to bring these guys down, or do I just keep building? Keep them there. We need something on the border. Might put them on permanent idle. This city is pretty much sorted. We can clear ruins. We can build forges. Lookout towers. Influence on main plaza. Always influence on main plaza. It's so, so powerful. I could also use the agrarian to get population from Babylon and other such places. But we're on... Ah. We just completed city cap. Let's go for war summons so we can create another city without any negatives that would be a thousand and sixty to do that which i think i will do shortly the problem obviously being the lack of infantry that we have okay we also have a concept the battle for the mind the great city of babylon is bursting at the seams countless souls pressing on the city's tight borders the dense, squalid quarters, case of madness are on the rise religious leaders uh, contend with the demonic forces on behalf of the <laughs> afflictions while uh, philosophers argue for natural cause, both are strong voices in the Empire with com uh, competing solutions. What is your response? Study, pray, or judge? So, study, person with knowledge of medicine should aid the afflicted. Pray, which is get fanatical, or judge. They are sinners. I'm going to go with study. And you confirm have that. reached the end of an ideology axis. Hmm. Of all the epithets other empires may use for you, wishy-washy won't be one of them. <laughs> yep, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so, I mean, can we build... 
We just need... It's, it's Anchor Watt that's taking all this time. It's going to be good once it's finished, but obviously it's a bit of a drain at this stage. So we are just ah, just under the amount I need to turn this into a city. This thing's getting raided. I'm hoping that if we get over here, we can obviously take the high ground. They have to come round this way, to be fair, in order to attack us. So keeping in the high ground will help us out. And... I'll make this into a city. It's going to cost, let's say, a thousand, but it is worthy of getting that. And there's an era star. I will go straight away for the pottery workshop and buy that out. And then we'll go with most likely, most likely stability's fine. Probably food for horses, but I am going to immediately, <laughs> because we can, I'm going to attach this one and then that one next turn. So that's going to. Oh, and we'll buy out animal barns as well. We've just got enough money to just boost up these uh, cities where we can. That's food for farmers. Uh, yeah, we've got two people in farming. I'm actually going to move that guy over into farming as well. Auto move some stuff. That idle army is just standing around there. Do I want to bring it down? The answer is yes. I think it was a mistake putting it up there, but I was a bit worried about what can go on here. And still am, to be fair, but I, I can't really sit with these guys sitting there doing nothing. So, yeah, this army is idle. I could attack, but why would I even want to... Oh, you can't go that way. So they can't actually... <laughs> they can't go anywhere else. I'm going to put these guys up that side. And there's fields of plenty. That's industrial production. Let me show the details of that. This is nationalised industries or privatised industries. So they give you farmers uh, slots or trader slots. It costs 900 to enact that. We have nowhere near the amount to uh, get that sorted. A world deed has been unlocked as well. It looks like that thing has been pillaged and they are now running off. Let me just attach that to get another era star there. I think they're coming around to attack me, you know, and I wouldn't blame them, to be fair. Over here then, obviously, we are having to then rebuild this thing. It's only two turns, but it's two turns that we really shouldn't have to have to look at. If I was to attack them now, it says we are in an advantage. I'm not overly convinced, but I am going to take this opportunity to do this because we do really genuinely need to get these guys gone. I have got the ranged bonus, um, so I can, I can stay at range, swap those over, and I don't think they can attack me through there. So let's end that deployment. So I'm just going to basically start... Firing arrows at all of the targets I possibly can. Um, it says there, uh, no line of sight, no line of sight. But if I was going to charge down... Oh yeah, so we might as well charge down and take this unit out completely. And that just removes that from the table. Oh, and another great assault here. Straight down the mountain. And then attack on that one. Yeah, that was going down as well. So when we move over here, we then do have line of sight. And we have, uh, obviously, a line of sight. We're higher up. We've got all the advantages here. And they've lost two out of their four units. So we couldn't have asked for a better opener. So even though it says that it was very, very close to 50-50, this is almost certainly <laughs> going to be a massive sledging from us. If we lose a unit, I'd be surprised, quite frankly. Look at that, they're doing almost no damage. Although, oh, they do have units down here as well. So that could alter this. But they're firing up there. They don't have line of sight. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's a bit of a drama for them. So, I mean, we can just we can just wipe these guys out every every turn. We're just wiping stuff out and just firing and firing and firing. There's two units already gone, and this will make a third one to be a wipeout. And there you, there you go. So, that's lots of fighting. 19% uh, health losses. However, they've lost all of their forces, including five units. And there's a Nira Star unlocked again because of all that fighting. So, pretty happy with that. We will go back and, you know what? I may even siege that. I may even try and get that wiped out. It may be... It may be worth it. Oh, I'm going to do it. Let's go. Let's get these guys gone. I really don't want to be dealing with... Oh! Right, so they brought in reinforcements. I couldn't maintain the siege. Because we're building ballistas for the siege. Maintain the siege. Okay. So that's for... The, this is going to just slowly increase that. That might be a mistake. Maybe should have ab abandoned that. Oh, look at this. They've got horses over there. They are totally exhausted, though. Do we have open borders with that guy? Come, relax. No. Let us speak honestly. They're closed borders. Ah, but they can always trespass, of course. 
but they can't attack me. They're just wandering around and having a look by by the, uh, well, well, that's what it seems like anyway. Uh, one more turn then until we have, I'm just going to buy that cannery out. One more turn until we have our the site of Angkor Wat Angkor Wat is done. of reverence, not merely for the temples, but for the care it took with water and irrigation. Look at that, that looks really good. Uh, the Ghanians have gained the renown as a traitor, level one. Oh, okay. Hey, While having this badge, you only gain some war support when destroying an enemy district based on the level of the badge. I mean, they're maximum war support. You could. Oh, and they've declared war on the Persians. Right. Okay. That is... <laughs> oh. Oh, I think I know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, they've swept around the outside. Hmm, can you see what's going on there? Interesting. Um, my side is weaker overall. I'm gonna... Do I want to abandon this? I do want to assault it. It's gonna take ages to build that. Let's continue on with that. I don't think I can do much else. I do want to wait to get these guys in play. Uh, I don't know if I can join a siege. We'll have to see. Anyway, Babylon. Blossoming of beliefs. Religious feeling is strong across the empire, but that is not preventing discard from emerging from among the faithful. Great cities are finding themselves under the sway of diverse religious leaders who see, who each see this standard creed with different eyes. New religious orders are emerging every day where their influence is growing. What should you do with these groups? Dissolve, influence, or lead them? Um, leading them, we put towards the... Tradition, influence, geopolitical towards world, or dissolve. Hmm. I think we'll go with... I'm going to go with lead. See what happens there. So three cities are now done. Look at that. There's Anchor Wat. That looks really nice. So we are going to continue on building. And I'm specifically going to... Uh, I was going to build... I was going to build a, a boat, boat, sorry, a, a, a set of archers, but what's the point? We've got longbowmen next turn, so we may as well not do that. Over here then, I think we're going to go with, we need more stability, which means either commons quarters or, yep, you guessed it, we're going to build forts. Because, why would you not build forts? Extra food, combat strength, fortification, stability. It's just good. This one is pretty much sorted. We have 11 of 17 people. That's the max districts. Going to go with industry per year. With the forge there. And there's war summons researched, which we now have our emblematic unit. New grievances available as well. I warn you. Because they are oppressing our people. I'll just demand. You owe me territory. I'm just demanding it all. And they, they don't care. I'll take either. Ah. And this apparently. Needs the way. The way. Be inclined to say yes. <laughs> to anybody else. Yield your lands. Or suffer. My demands are. For doing that, give all of these. One, two, three. I could take Forest all of those. But I give them that. I mean, that's really good. However, I'm going to withdraw. Because I, I just want our war support up. That's all I was doing here. Let's see. There's the boat. I'm going to put it on auto explore. That's all I was doing that for, really. We haven't actually went over to this island, which I should probably have a, have a look at. So, in Babylon, we have nothing getting built. There's four units of archers. Uh, down here, we also have... Nothing getting built. I will build a... I think I'll actually build that. We'll build a stronghold. Down here, we are once again building up these things. Our ballistas. Research is complete. Uh, we've got foreign outposts, feudalism, heavy infantry, absorb city, which, yeah, that's a merge cities together. That's really good. Alchemy is good as well, because it gives you stability per researches for the apothecary. I think we're going to go with foreign outposts, mainly because it's che the cheapest one to do. Or, actually no, feudalism gives us crop rotation. I had Lamy up there, two units of archers. Going to bring those down. You see there's horses just randomly <laughs> wandering around. Over here we are, I mean I could start putting money in, but do I really, oh they're actually, 
No, the tolerance is good there. We could... Can we get up to kinship? No, they're too far away from... From ourselves. Okay. Over here, we've managed to assemble one ballista. But they are getting more people as well. Do I just abandon it? I depends whether I can join a siege. The only thing more impressive than that are the citizens' waistlines. <laughs> um, obviously, exploring over here, this it says it's going to be destroyed because they can only go in certain waters because we don't have the research to go that far. Over here, it does say we can join in the siege, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, we now have another tenant. Uh, we've got undertake pilgrimage, which is number of holy sites and cancelling and activating civics, yield to non-increase war support on grievance trigger. Oh, bear not the false witness. Bear not false witness. That's pretty good, actually. Extra signs on research quarter. Protect the weak. Oh, that's protect the weak. So stability on garrison. And we've got loads of garrisons. And observed fasts. Extra food on harbour. We're going to go bear not the witness. Bear not false witnesses, should I say. It's pretty good. Extra science is always... A good thing. Besieging is still on the way. This army is again doing nothing because it's just been built and we've got more stuff to build. We probably need another district. Money not great. Industry not ideal. Food is good. But why would I not build one of these? Because it increases stability and just gives us more stuff. Over here, similar thing and Obviously, putting it around here as well is giving us bonuses. I like that on the edge there. Nice little place to protect it. If we ever come to fight, it will help us out. In this area, then. Lumber yard, I think. And end the turn. And a new wonder can be claimed. Bring these into the siege. There we go. That's helping us out now. These guys are coming down. Obviously, idle armies as well, but these are all of our longbowmen. Actually, some of these I would be able to upgrade if I weren't in a siege. Says we could probably go for this. One, one, one turn for that. For our um, building in Babylon, we're going to go with... Yeah, we'll build the obelisk, I think. <laughs> I like the row of obelisks. We're not going to get any other city involved in that one. I do want to, however... Do greener pastures. Oh, that's put us over. Right, that's a mistake on my part. We need more. We need more districts. I'm going to go with industry up here. 21, which is pretty good. So, yeah, we're actually maxed out. We're, we're going to lose population. Ah, mistakes were made. It's no drama. Uh, these guys, we can probably bring them in in a bit, although, you know what, all the way things are going, I'm going to assault. So, manual battle. Waiting for confirmation from the, from their unit. Why? <laughs> Why do we need confirmation from them? You can see our siege equipment is on the side there. I think that would, that's probably going to be about right. Let's end the deployment. And you can see our siege equipment there, so we can fire. So unlike other uh, contemporaries, you just get the siege equipment, not automatically, but you don't have to. You don't have to build it essentially, and then move it around. It just slowly builds up, as it were. Reinforcements. I'm going to bring them in and bring them down. All of our reinforcements will be brought in and brought right down. This is going to be. I think a fairly easy fight. Deploying all of these units. I don't need to... I don't think we actually need to deploy all of these. But I just want to get the fight done. Over and done with. Let's just surround them here. Not bad. Probably should have done the... Arches first, actually. Don't think we'll wipe them out with these arches. 
We will with these ones, though. <laughs> and there they go. Uh, I think there's only... Yeah, there's only two things there anyway, so... There's the city. We've we've literally taken the city. Uh, culture and blessing is another thing we can get. And those have been wiped out. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to have to bring these guys down. Obviously, I can now upgrade these archers. It's 200 apiece, but these get to longbowmen. These ones we can upgrade to pikemen as well, which are also 200. However, I am of the opinion that getting the archers up first is probably the way forward. So this city is currently doing nothing because it's just been captured, just been nicked. We'll go with Pottery Workshop. Didn't anticipate in taking this, but I think it's uh, probably worthy of its worthy of claiming that. I'm just going to instant resolution this fight because it's, yeah, it's an easy one and there's that wiped out. And, oh, it looks like the guys, the the Persians are on the right hand side there. So we're over the cap here so you can see we are suffering a penalty of 10 influence per turn. That's that's nothing at all, is it really, considering what we have. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. I'm most likely going to uh, split some of these guys off into different units. So that one, for example, I can't move them at the moment. There's no path to destination. Um, merge those over and bring them down. Yeah, so I'm going to split these off so that we don't just have a unit of all archers. Uh, we do need some some melee in that as well. Cities are currently sitting around doing not much. I think over here we're on actually decent stuff there. I'm going to go with customs farm, money gain from ongoing trade, or science on research quarters. Why not? Anything that is a turn, I might as well pick it up. I think. Over here. Food on river. We've already got rivers there, and no rivers there. Got a little bit of river there. Yeah, that would be worth it, I think. And then this one, obviously, we're just building pottery workshop. So, the human cost across the border where war ravages in the Empire of the Ghanians. Thousands have abandoned their homes and are now seeking sanctuary in your peaceful land. Refugees, and no doubt some agitators too, are amassing near the closest city. They are tired but proud. Afraid yet hopeful. It's a delicate matter and one that may have far-reaching consequences. Welcome them or refuse. I'm going to welcome. We will not turn away those in need. Let's hope our people share these feelings of charity. Chance of unexpected consequences, both of them. So that's extra two people in Babylon. Okay, and that's increased our population and give us some more stars as well. Okay, good. That is in Babylon, so that's okay. I could immediately spend 12, and I do, yes, I did, I did use the word spend 12 people, uh, to build the obelisk, but there you are. Another unclaimed wonder, I could build, I could claim another wonder, but quite frankly, no, I think, um, no, I think that wouldn't be the way to go, to be honest. Um, right, we'll end the turn, and I think we'll leave it there for this episode. That's been a bit of humankind. We haven't got, oh, there's another, another star. We haven't got a huge way. Uh, through through the game so far. There's heavier infantry increases our cap and oh actually no. Absorb city. That's what I want. Yeah we haven't got a huge way through the turns. We're only on turn 122. So only 22 turns we have managed to progress through. But that's not really a huge drama. It's just it is what it is. So yeah what I want to do really is I want to redress these armies. I want to Make sure that we've got some decent forces together and, oh, probably have to deal with these guys who apparently really, really want to die. Uh, yeah, they're, they're gone. Uh, <laughs> that was coming from over here. I might have to go and wipe those out, but certainly settle in and around this area and the fact that he's claimed this is problematic. Overall, pretty happy. Still concerned with this guy, although... They are uh, Ghanians about money, so me. they may or may not attack, although they do have traitor and their war support is maxed out. So, yeah, yeah, we'll have to see about that one. And all of our forces are sadly down south. So maybe get at least one force up the top just because it would be worth it. Either way, we're leaving it there for now. That's been a bit of humankind. Hopefully you have enjoyed the episode and for what it is the series thus far. I definitely want to get to the next era, next episode. And maybe even take some of this, but we shall see. Conflict seems to be getting closer, put it that way. Although, 
We may discover the new world because there's lots of stuff we haven't found. But we are doing quite well in terms of score, if not position. So we'll have to see about that one. Either way, I hope you have enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.